Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Greg Biffle's 2022 Grambling State University Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for New York Racing's Greg Biffle. What a fantastic release. This car came in out of nowhere. Who saw this coming? The number 44. This was on my for sure cancellations list. I was really, really nervous about this car not getting made. But here it is in the Gold Series, the Grambling car. There's actually a couple different 44 cars. And they have chosen this one. And I'm really glad because this is the Daytona 500 car. So this is a really awesome die cast that we're going to take a look at today. So you guys are probably wondering, well, how did I find this car? Uh, this car came from the Lionel Racing Retail Store's recent shipment, so I looked at some of the shipment, shipment reports and didn't really see this car. Maybe I didn't look that good, uh, but this is definitely it. And the original shipment I report, I, ugh, the shipment report that I saw had Corey LaJoy's Plan B car, and because I went today, they did, they did not have that car. So they must have been like, okay, we don't have the Corey LaJoy uh, 7 Plan B sales car. So we have a replacement for it. Here's the Greg Biffle car. There you go. Uh, which is really cool. I'm really glad this car got made. And it is really a nice car. I actually like the font and everything. The colors of it. Uh, let's take a look at this die cast right here. So you got number 44 right there. NY Racing. Got Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Pretty good job wrapping the front end on this one especially for all the complexity on this wrap. You have a very Green Bay Packers looking G for the Grambling. That really looks like a Green Bay Packers logo from the NFL. Uh, you got Chevrolet Biffle right there with the hood vents like they're supposed to be over. And there is some weird residue. You see that? Some weird residue on this. Well, I'd rather take that over the fuzzy graphics we've seen in the Authentics. Uh, I actually have one that I could show off for you guys. Uh, that one... Will probably be coming soon. Maybe on a community post, you'll probably see what I'm talking about there. But you got Sunoco right there. You got Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series number 44. Greg Biffle's name right there. How nostalgic to see Greg Biffle's name on a new car. Really, really cool. You got number 44, Grambling State University. Uh, let's see, NY Racing. You got the Grambling Little G logo. And I gotta get up off my chair so I can get close to this. Uh, what logo is that? I cannot read it very well. It's not an error, and it's not blurry. It is definitely readable to an extent, but I cannot see what it is. Uh, you got Chevrolet right there, and there's that weird logo again. SS, it looks like right there. You got a Puma logo on this car, so this car has Puma sponsorship. You have Graham Education right there. You have that, what does that say right there? Does that say Zedge? I really cannot read that, you guys. These decals are really small for my eyes. HBCU League Pass Club right there. You got Ile Steva. I'm not even going to know how to pronounce that right there on the deck lid. Or the deck lid, the rear quarter panel. I cannot read what that says. Il Steva. Somebody please tell me what that is in the comment section. <laughs> Uh, we are grambling instead of gambling. You have Chevrolet right there. You got G44, ZL1 Camaro. You got Grambling State University. You have Biffle and, of course, Grambling State University again on the roof. Now, the number 44, you have a shadow in the backdrop with a very... It's almost like a fool's gold. Not a metallic fool's gold. It's just like a flat color. Just a normal gloss color for that number fill-in. The car is spray painted black, and of course for the paint scheme pattern, you're going to have, of course, starting with the black spoiler and the black splitter, uh, this kind of has a black zebra, almost, like a black, a blacked out zebra. Just look at the zebra pattern going all across this car. It is a really good looking car, if you look close enough at it. Uh, but we're going to look at the front here, because that has a lot of the fool's gold, uh, bright fool's gold, I should say. And it kind of takes the stripes of the zebra. It just wraps around the whole front of the car, as you could tell. All over this thing on the front. It looks really, really mean and nasty uh, in the rearview mirror. Just looking at that coming at you. 
uh, with the hood looks really sharp with that giant G right there. Really, really cool. And that G, what a coincidence. Greg Biffle. G right on the hood. Huge, too. So really, really cool to see that. You got the white Goodyear right there. Of course, the American Ethanol logo, which sometimes I never, never even, not pronounce right, never even point out. But there's the biofuel logo right there. But look at the hood right here. Just, it looks really, really good. That is a really good looking hood. <laughs> like, I can't stop staring at it. And by the way, guys, Greg Biffle actually represented a couple of different state universities. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure I saw him in the Coke 600. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I do remember Biffle in that one. Uh, he's probably somewhere in the back. Uh, but regardless if he, if he was there or not. He got a diecast made, and how cool is it, man? Of course, he got the metallic colored dark gray rims and wheels and tires. Really, really cool looking rims on this one. I actually like how that that rim color matches with this car. Kind of goes with like the gray zebra stripes. Looks really good on it. I really like it. Uh, the Gold Series black chassis definitely makes the colors on this one pop. Uh, if you guys already didn't like this scheme. But man, this is a really, really beautiful looking car. I mean, NY Racing got a die cast made. So we're starting to get more die casts made for more teams. Even the smaller teams are getting cars made. Really, really cool to see this one. I don't know if this team is competing tomorrow uh, in the Daytona 500. I really, really highly, highly doubt they're coming back. I don't remember seeing a 44 car anywhere. Which is really sad because this is a good buy. I would not want this to be a lame duck car. Honestly, for my diecast series in Season 5, I would certainly bring this car back. Because we need more cars in the field. We're a little bit uh, short on different numbers. But the 44, really nice. Quite incredible that teams like this are getting diecast made over Michael McDowell and a couple drivers like that. So really, really, really shocking there, uh, which makes this diecast all that more valuable. Uh, I really like it. I mean, just the, the way the fool's gold and the black, the zebra pattern. Let's get a zoom in on that. Uh, let's do our little zoom in gimmick right here. Just look at that. Uh, this looks really, really cool. I really, that pattern looks super, super good. Of course, the back is all black. Uh, the decklet even has the pattern of it. Just getting closer looks at this thing. This is a really beautiful looking car. I really like it. That is a really, really nice car. Just, and then of course, a closer look at that hood. So, here's the front of the car. Here's the hood. Here's the right side. And are we going to be able to read that other sponsor now? Uh, now that we're zoomed in? Nah, I still can't read it. Oh! Oh! Urban Edge. There you go. Urban Edge. That's the sponsor I couldn't read before. Now that I zoomed in, I could actually see it. That's cool. So you got Urban Edge here and here uh, from when I missed it before. That's the good thing about the zoom in gimmick that I started doing in these videos. Here's the back. A little G. We are grambling. And of course, here it is on the deck lid. Here's the roof of the car. The driver's name, Biffle, is the right side, or the left side here. The right side is over here, and then the underbody of the car. Man, what a beautiful looking car this is, this Greg Biffle one. Definitely consider getting this car. It is a really, really nice car to get. I mean, every side of this car is covered in that zebra pattern. It is just a really beautiful looking car. So... Yeah, guys, I am not sure how long this is going to stay in stock. This is definitely one that I'm expecting to fly off the pegs real quick. I don't, I do not see a long uh, shelf life for this car. So if you're looking for it, try to get it on Plan B sales. And no, I'm not sponsored by Plan B sales, but because I'm down here in Concord, North Carolina, that's how I'm able to get the cars. But if you guys want to get these cars... Elsewhere, the only place to get it is on Plan B Sales. The only good place to get it is on Plan B Sales. Like definitely the most reliable. Uh, never used it before, but I'm bringing that up because these cars you don't want to miss on. Like, you got to find a way to get them. Like, this one right here is definitely one that not a lot of people would probably be able to get. Unless they somehow snuck this one in the Authentics line. 
And uh, is that a paint chip on that zebra stripe right there? Or is that actually how it's supposed to be? Because sometimes, sometimes things happen and they're not supposed to be there. No, that doesn't look like it's a paint chip. Oh, it's kind of... You never know with this company. Uh, but this car I really, really like. It's the black and the gold just look fantastic on this car. Can you guys imagine if they actually made it metallic? That would have been even more awesome. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're trying to bring back <laughs> more videos here, as you guys can tell. Thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts. And we're going to review a couple more cars for you guys because we know you guys want to see some more diecast reviews on the channel. So we'll see you next time for the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts. <laughs>